Tonight, has Bindi made a blunder teaming up with SeaWorld in the States? De Might only be 15 years old, but today Bindi Irwin's copping major flack after doing a deal with SeaWorld in the States, a franchise of marine parks that's battling very bad PR. We have a brand new announcement. She's nothing if not enthusiastic. And actually, I have a friend who's <laughs> come to join us to help with this announcement. This is Pete. These guys are Magellanic penguins and they are gorgeous. We they love are. them desperately. She's the poster girl for animal awareness in Australia and abroad. Can I make my Where's big announcement? All right. But it's this news in the US overnight that landed Bindi Irwin in hot water. We are so thrilled to finally be joining SeaWorld on a brand new initiative called Generation Nature. Animal rights group Peter immediately slammed the partnership. Unfortunately, as her father's namesake boat is out with Sea Shepherd trying to uh, conserve and protect exploited marine life, Bindi's now been hired out to exploit those animals. Twitter exploded in condemnation, with several tweets referring to the recent documentary Blackfish. When you look into their eyes, you know somebody is home. Blackfish honed in on US SeaWorld damning the practice of keeping killer whales in captivity. SeaWorld currently has 23 orcas across its three US parks. SeaWorld in turn condemned Blackfish, saying, the film paints a distorted picture. SeaWorld commits millions of dollars annually to conservation and scientific research. Australia Zoo today issued a statement defending the initiative. Bindi Irwin is thrilled to be involved with SeaWorld kids through their Generation Nature campaign. No one questions the Irwin family's commitment to advancing animal awareness. It's literally their life's work. But why partner up with an American brand that is swimming in bad PR? Jane Caro is the master of the dark art of spin. Now, firstly, Jane, we should probably clarify, SeaWorld on the Gold Coast is unrelated to the US franchise, but this is a massive coup for SeaWorld in the States, isn't it? Well, I would think so, but we have to remember that the brand Irwin in Australia is very different from the brand Irwin in America. Um, in a way, I think that brand Irwin in America is kind of like Australia. It's really about us as a country. So, yes, SeaWorld getting, if you like, the tick of approval from Australia, uh, as represented by the Irwin family and by Bindi Irwin, yeah, it's got to be a coup for them, particularly if they're trying to rebuild their image as, you know, an, an organisation that cares about the environment and cares about animals rather than the opposite. Well, do you think that the Irwins understand their own brand? That's a really, really interesting question. I think sometimes we're the worst people at understanding our own brands. We are often too close to ourselves. So I hope, particularly as she's so young, that Bindi Irwin and Brand Irwin are getting some very good, objective, honest, and candid advice. Because if you take control of your own brand, it's really... How do you see yourself as a brand? and as a human being. That's, that's really hard. I think they need to be very sure that they are involving themselves within an organisation that is ethical and doing the right thing because it can damage your brand forever if you get it wrong. Who do you think is making the decisions? Is it, is it Bindi's desire to hop on the back of an orca and go, look, the big fish are having fun? Is it her or is it the mother? Is it an empire? Well, it's probably a combination of all three. If Bindi hated doing it, she wouldn't be any good at it. So I'd say that obviously she's getting a kick out of it. Um, her mother, I presume, would be heavily involved in what was going on and certainly should be. That's her responsibility. But there will also be um, professional advisers. And that's where it all gets awfully sticky. What's the agenda here? Is it looking after Bindi, making sure that she's having the kind of fun that she needs to have at 16 and doing the right thing in the long term? Or is it about turning into a cash cow and making as much money as possible while she's popular? We've all seen an awful lot of child stars come a horrible cropper, in fact, the vast majority of them. So you all, I always feel worried when I see a young person um, very much in the public eye and you do wonder who's making these decisions and what's their agenda? Who are they looking after? Well, the Irwins continue to fascinate us. Always great to have your opinion. Thanks, Jane. My pleasure. Mm. And we should make a little correction there. Bindi is 15, not 16. Oh, that oh, makes that it OK. Makes it makes it Yeah, no worries. Yeah, that's Fine. right. Yeah, uh, you know, I've got a friend uh, who's got a snakeskin boot business.
Could I get Bob to be the face of that? Do you think that would <laughs> work? It's <laughs> entirely possible. I think yeah. he'd be really yeah. great. I think he'd be really into it. And Bob's out in the cold. Don't forget. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Oh, Big Bob. Mm. Big Bob. Big Bob, not Bob Little Bob. Oh, I was talking about Little Bob. Little Bob, oh, Robert. Talking about Little Bob. Yeah, I'm talking about... Bob. Well, in fact, yeah, Robert. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Robert, Bob, confused. I don't even know who I'm talking about now. Um, interesting enough, we asked you what you think by endorsing SeaWorld has been to and jump the shark. Cracking pun. 76% uh, yeah. said wow. yes, 24% said no. Okay. Uh, you're going to take a break. Back soon. Coming up.